Good afternoon, and thank you all for being here today. I am Council Member Alika Ampre Samuel, and I chair the Committee on Public Housing. I am joined by Committee Member Reverend Council Member Ruben Diaz, Sr., as well as Committee Members Council Madiba Denny and Senior Legislative Policy Analyst Jose Condi, as well as other members of the Council legal counsel. Eight months ago, the Public Housing Committee held a hearing about the lack of heat in NYCHA apartments. But NYCHA has a long history of keeping tenants in the cold. Sometimes this harm was deliberate. In 2015, it was NYCHA's policy not to turn on the heat overnight unless the outside temperature fell to 20 degrees or lower. Sometimes this harm was negligent. In 2017 and 2018 heating season, NYCHA mismanagement resulted in 80% of residents losing heat during New York's coldest winter in decades. But time and time again, NYCHA has failed to prioritize its residents. And the weight of these failures falls on tenants' health, their safety, and peace of mind. And while NYCHA has been keeping its residents out in the cold, NYCHA has worked very hard to try to keep the city council in the dark. For months, the council provided NYCHA with the opportunity after opportunity to explain what happened last winter and to make sure they were prepared to take on the new heating season. Sadly, NYCHA's response has been nothing short of unacceptable and almost pretty close to laughable. I am here to look you in the eye and say this. The council will use all the tools at our disposal, and we will get answers. The purpose of today's hearing is to ask, to what degree has NYCHA learned from its errors? What is it doing differently so that the residents will not suffer as it did during the last heating season? Seeing that thousands of residents have lost their heat in just the first few weeks of this heating season, NYCHA has failed to learn from its mistakes, and it seems like it's business as usual. Last winter, NYCHA testified that 143,000 out of 175,000 units did not have heat in hot water. And at one point, the average duration of a heat outage was 48 hours. This is unacceptable. There is no reason why, in one of the wealthiest cities in the world, public housing residents should have to turn to homeless shelters so that they can have a warm place to sleep at night, as some did last winter. It should not require the intervention of, the, of this council and the legal system to force NYCHA to provide basic intervention, basic services for the New Yorkers who call NYCHA home. NYCHA claims to be working around the clock to fix these issues. But residents need more than empty promises. They need results. Before February's hearing on January 18th, the mayor and NYCHA announced a dedicated allocation of 13 million to speed up responses to emergencies by hiring temporary repair staff, securing mobile boilers and sealing windows. And then on January 31st, the mayor and NYCHA announced a $200 million replace boiler system and upgrading heating systems at 20 NYCHA developments. And then at a hearing, the mayor and NYCHA announced measures to expedite this process by up to 20 months, which was related to design phase and procurement and construction. And then just last week, the mayor and NYCHA made yet another announcement about what you've been doing to improve heating in the advance of the heating winter season. 
saying that you have more staff, better customer service, and new boilers. But it's unclear how residents can trust NYCHA when there are still outages today. And NYCHA's efforts to communicate with residents about their living conditions are muddled at best. Just over the past two weeks, we've experienced temperatures in the 30s, and residents have complained and complained and complained about outages. And over this past weekend, I personally called the NYCHA's Customer Contact Center, and there was a glitch in the options to check for unknown outages. And in my own district, Sterling Rehab, which includes 125 households, they were without heat for 57 hours. And in Grant houses, they were without hot water for 73 hours. And in Glenmore houses, they were without water, period, for 48 hours. The Public Housing Committee needs more than reassurances from NYCHA. It needs receipts. It is my hope that today, NYCHA will provide real answers about its preparations for this heating season so that residents can live in dignity in a place that's clean, safe, and warm. Thank you so much. So with that, we are going to call, excuse me. Okay. So with that, we're going to hold, and we're actually going to switch to the chamber. So bear with us for just a few minutes. Everyone from this room has to go into the chamber, and everyone from the chamber is going to come into...